Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're gonna compare two necklaces from Cartier, both of them from Trinity collection. One is the double chain Trinity necklace and the other one is a single chain Trinity necklace. In today's video, we're going to compare their style, their price. I give you a lot of model shots. I also will talk about the pros and the cons. Lastly, I also will talk about the ring. Most of the time, I use this ring as a necklace. So in today's video I will share with you how it look on me when I wear the ring as a necklace to give you some model shots so without further ado let's jump into it I will start with this double chain necklace first so this is the one that I purchased many years ago I would say more than 10 years ago and the one I have it is in rose gold when I purchased this one I remember it just hit over $1,000 so today when I check the website I saw this uh, necklace is cost 1670 however the one I have this is the old version when I check the website it's a little bit different the new version it has a piece of the Cartier logo end of the chain but the old version it doesn't have that piece of the logos so let me talk about this necklace feature very quickly as you can see it comes with the double chain and it does come with the three settings for myself I always wear to the short stud lines which just hit to my collarbone and I think that for this style this shoulder will be better so the pendant does come with the three small rings these three small rings is a pretty thing these three rings has the white gold rose gold and yellow gold so this is a basic feature of this necklace so now I'm gonna show you how it goes on me so here is the shortest lens I'm wearing Ring, as you can see now I'm going to the, the middle lens here is the second lens the last one is the longest lens you can choose the way that I prefer for you let me talk about the pros and the cons first pro for this necklace compared with the other collection I think the Trinity collection consider is a lower price among the other collections and especially for this necklace it's cost 1670 and as you know right now you cannot really find any necklace below like $2,000 if you just start your Cartier collection I would recommend to consider this one and see if you like their jewelry pieces so the other pro for this one actually is a very very low key now Cartier has a many collection the most popular collection would be love collection and the Justin Clue collection but the Trinity is still is not so popular compared to those uh, collection so it's a very very low key collection people know Cartier they probably will know this is from Trinity collection so another pro is uh, this pendant is not moving along when you wear it, the pendant it will be stay in the center it's not gonna move in to the left or right so that part you don't need to worry about that which I think this is another pro for this necklace so of course this chain give you adjustable lens I think this is gonna be very versatile way so now I'm gonna talk about the con of this necklace definitely this one also has the con so the first con is that this chain actually very light so even the pendant you can see the three rings they are very very tiny compared with the regular one maybe in the camera you cannot really tell 
but in person it's a very tiny ring and a very thin so it's a, not a heavy necklace at all and the, the second con of this one is uh, this one sometimes drive me crazy if i doesn't put it well now if you always store your necklace by using their box or their display thing like this it has no problem easily you just can take it out and start to wear that you guys know i also mentioned in one video uh, i don't store my jewelry pieces into the original box because it occupied a lot of space uh, i do have uh, many designer jewelry pieces in my collection if i keep every single box it's gonna be occupied a lot of space therefore i don't store i will store in the a small plastic bag and keep it there so sometimes if i don't store well i just you know put it like this and the next time when i want to wear it's everything is a tangry and it's so difficult to figure out and as you can see right now it, if I didn't do well, the necklace become this. It's not like it's supposed to be. So now I have trouble to do it. I seriously have a lot of trouble. Every single time when I wear that, I have so much trouble. So every time when I store it, I will use the scotch tape. The next time when I wear it, it will be easier. Sometimes it will drive you crazy. You just don't know which way is the correct. Now, they supposed to be both show you closely the the necklace is supposed to be both side has the chain pulling and the, the pendant should be in the middle it's a not like like this and you can do is just uh, pull one side in this uh, closure right here just pulling and uh, just pull make sure you know everything's lined up then you know this is supposed to be the way this is the thing I think the biggest con for this necklace when you first get it you will experience it's kind of annoying until you figure out I used to struggle every single time when I wear this necklace but after I figure out how to sort it out and how to put it in the right position then I have no problem but by looking at the picture of the new version, I think you shouldn't have the same problem as I have in the old version. If you have it, you can leave a comment below. This is the first necklace. Now let's move into the other one, which is uh, this one. It is the single chain. However, the chain is uh, lot thicker than the double chain the one i have it it is in the yellow gold it comes with uh, uh, all three rings as well the, the ring is also made by rose gold yellow gold and white gold this one also comes with the two lengths one is a shorter one is a longer so i always uh, wear to the shortest one so the ring is uh, so much bigger than the double chain uh, necklace so i'm gonna put them side by side you can see the difference one is a very thin the ring is a very very tiny and the thin and the other one is uh, the chain is a uh, pretty thick and uh, the ring is a uh, pretty big so you can see the difference very clearly so now i'm gonna try on and I'll let you guys see so here are the both one uh, on me the bigger one so this is the shortest lens let me put it the longest lens now this is the longest lens now let me talk about the pros and the cons the pro of this necklace is a pretty thick compared with the double chain necklace this one is a pretty heavy and also the chain is a pretty big thick because it is that it also costs a little bit more however i'm not so sure if cartier still count this uh, version of the trinity necklace when i check the website it's a little bit different 
they added the hook on top of the three rings which I think that design is so much better than this one this one the only thing I don't like it also the problem which is it moving but not that much for some reason it's still good I think because it is the weight it's a pretty pretty heavy so I think uh, maybe that caused uh, the reason it's now moving like a crazy like the one I have it from a uh, Bogali so this is a uh, good the other pro is uh, this necklace the pendant actually you can take it out so like right now I can take it out and you can have something something else by yourself so I I like the the way they put it more like a flexible you can have something else but the, the new version I think you cannot take out the pendants so I think the old version is a better but for the design I'm more like the new version of the Trinity necklace I don't like this old version of the Trinity necklace so and because I have uh, this, so sometimes when my finger get a swirl, I cannot wear the ring. I will take off the ring and uh, put the ring into this chain and wear a slot necklace. So therefore, I think this is the pro for this necklace because I can use uh, like uh, other a pendant from different brand I can use this chain now I put my ring into this chain and I'm gonna show you how it goes so here is the ring as a necklace that I'm wearing I will give you the close look I don't know if you guys like it so the ring size I believe it is the six if you have a size like a five or six six I think this is a six still okay and but you have a five four even smaller will be better but this definitely can make us a necklace it's not too bad at all and I was talking about in the last time I forgot to show you guys so in this video I'm gonna show you guys how it look on me when I wear the ring to as a necklace and the one of Sabi did the request that asked me to show you guys how it looks so it is not too bad at all so you can definitely wear that I believe they don't make this necklace anymore uh, but I did check the pre-love market and from the fashion file they still selling this piece and this piece I believe is uh, maybe under two thousand dollars I this necklace also purchased many many years ago and right now they don't have the price so I cannot tell but definitely this one will be more expensive than the double chain so lastly you asked me if I only can pick one I would say I probably will go to the new version of the bigger size uh, this one the small one double chin it is nice but it's uh, very dainty very light of course if you compare with the Hermes I think the Cartier is uh, better uh, worth the money the Hermes necklace is totally overpriced if you just want to start your Cartier collection and this one you can try definitely you can try and also if you like me like to wear the necklace very short just hit my collarbone so this is the one I think this is the only one will be look like that and every other necklace is pretty long so I think this you can consider but for me if I only can pick up one I will definitely go for this one because it's a heavier it's a bigger and uh, the new style I love a lot it's a more feminine look so yeah so that's for today's video I hope you guys enjoy and I will see you in the next video thanks bye bye